The Aladdin Hill behind us has two very important structures on it. The Aladdin Mosque, which was built in the early 12th century, is the oldest Seljuk period structure today. Also, on this side, we have the remains of the Seljuk Palace, or Aladdin Palace as it is known, also built in the later 12th century. Both of them make a very beautiful picture here on the top of Aladdin Hill, the center of what was the old part of Konya. There is a tomb here in the courtyard of the Aladdin Mosque. There are eight sultans and some members of their families buried here. Inside the Aladdin Mosque is this beautiful mihrab with Seljuk design. But the most important feature inside the Aladdin Mosque is the member itself. It is handmade from wood with no nails and it is very beautiful in its detail. Its design and detail has been very influential in art history. This beautiful hand-carved mimbir here in the Aladdin Mosque is absolutely the epitome of Seljuk design. It has influenced art history throughout the years in a very, very specific way. Also, you see the beautiful Arabic writing along the edge of the top and the sides of the entryway to go up the mimbir itself. Also, eat, notice carefully the different plant life designs. Along the sides, we have a mixture of letters and plants, all beautifully hand-carved all the way up to the top. Every detail has been given such care. It is so beautifully pieced together, it's hard to believe there are no nails in its, in its design. As I look at all of these individually carved pieces of wood, if you look very closely, you can even see that, that where that they have been fit together almost like a puzzle. This, especially in the middle, is beautiful. This beautiful star with the uh, plant-like designs in the middle, and then these smaller uh, pieces that are each individually hand-carved, accentuating this. It's just so beautiful. This really stood out to me. Again, when I look at these designs, they're absolutely beautiful. The detail is immaculate, very impressive. It's no wonder that it has in influenced art history. Aladdin Hill, right here in the center of the historic part of Konya, was once a palace. There were walls surrounding this hill. There was also another wall that was further out on the outer skirts of this historic section of Konya. This is one of the secret tunnel passageways used by soldiers. It connected the first palace wall to the second palace wall. There were eight tunnels altogether, this of which is just but one. Aladdin Hill behind us is the second largest city center and circle in the world. It is beautifully decorated with gardens where you can have tea or coffee, sit with friends, and there's also a small train that travels around the entire circle, making this part of the historic side of Konya a wonderful place. One of the most ancient settlements that can be found in the Anatolian region is right here in the settlement of Sile. 
10 kilometers northeast from the city center of Konya. It is indeed an amazing place, important both to Muslims and Christians, for its history has influenced so many. Also, the Apostle Paul visited early Christians here as they met and carved out dwellings in the cliffs across the way. Also, later on in time, the Emperor Constantine and his mother visited this area. She was so moved, Helena, his mother, was so moved by the fact these early Christians were meeting in such, such humble dwellings and such humble abodes carved out of the stone that she wanted to see a church constructed in this area. So behind us we have the Aya Helena Church. It was constructed in 327 AD. This was once also a thriving, thriving gold settlement. Many people came from surrounding areas to trade in gold here. Very impressive to see even today the preservation of stone dwellings carved out of the cliffs as well as the old style of homes made from stone still here today in this peaceful village. Also, Mevlana Jeladin Rumi would visit his friends at the Eflatun Monastery in this region for interfaith and intercultural dialogues. Also important to note is the fact that this was the oldest church to be found along the ancient pilgrimage route from Istanbul to Jerusalem. Very interesting to the history of Christians and Muslims alike. This is one of the large rooms carved directly out of the face of the cliff here on one of the hills in Sile, the ancient village. It is really interesting to look at the details of how every piece was carved out by hand. How much time it would have taken is, is unbelievable. Actually, the, this room is very large. It was used as a church. Also, in some of the other rooms, there is a tomb area. We don't know some of the uses for some of the other rooms, but indeed amazing how large and how much time it would have taken. One of the oldest churches in this region. On the side of this hill, we see the remains of many dwellings that have been constructed here from centuries past. Actually, we see ancient dwellings that may have been used as homes or tombs, possibly churches or monastery, right here, still viewable today along this hill, overlooking the ancient village of Sile. Here in this ancient settlement, along the side of this hill, there are many tunnels that are interconnected with each other, going from room to room. It was interesting to see the rooms and the homes and the detail that there was carved out in the face of this cliff. This room and this system of caves and this cliff, a part of the ancient settlement of Sile, is the most well-preserved home-like structure, structure that we've seen. Also, this window carved into the wall is also well-preserved, and below we see the beginning of a stairway going up to additional rooms beyond it. From one of these rooms of the cave dwellings overlooking the city of Sile, I have a great view. Our tour of this very historic and ancient village of Sile has come to an end. Please join us as we continue our tour of Konya.